hope you're having a wonderful just evening, morning, afternoon, whatever time of the day it is for you. I hope it's going well. If you're new here, welcome. My name's Sasha and this is my channel. <laughs> I saw on my way up the stairs um, that the money tree has got some new leaves, so that's nice. That was really nice to see. Um, I really enjoyed that. I'm actually just getting home um, not too long ago. One of my favorite things to do to unwind later on in the day is to just have a nice hearty cup of tea. I'm a big tea enthusiast. I think tea can cure anything, so I drink a lot of it. I don't know, it just does something to me. It makes me feel really good, revived. Like, I could be so tired, you guys, and then one sip of green tea in my eyes are like, whoop, and I'm like, I'm awake, I'm here. <laughs> I love a green tea when I wake up. I don't drink coffee, I used to, but I don't anymore. I make my own blends personally just because I'm always wanting to like switch it up and try something new. And that's exactly what I did here. And as far as the palette for nighttime for me, I really do enjoy something that's a bit warmer, a bit richer, a bit more cozy, spicy. Um, not really something that's like bright and citrusy. So this is a blend I've never tried. I kind of just did a little bit of everything, but I quite like it. It's actually really delicious. I took some hibiscus leaves, cinnamon bark, a few cloves. I also put some fresh ginseng in there just for like a little added boost. I'm going back to work tomorrow, so I just really want to be like in tip top shape as far as my health and my immune system. And that's definitely gonna help with that. Just easing back into just being around a surplus of people, being active, moving around. So yeah, the ginseng. Ginseng is so strong, you guys. Like, you really taste it. You don't need a lot. I put a lot in this particular cup just because I said I wanted a boost. And just add a little bit of honey, and that is it. But you guys, besides that, um, today has just been so, so wonderful. You know when it's spring? I love the beginning of spring because it just brings an energy of freshness of newness of inspiration there's so much that's like bubbling and budding and blooming at this time i absolutely love it this is such a great time for connecting with like-minded people and without even trying and it's so beautiful because just me going along my path each day just being a little more intentional about a routine that I have or a task that I can do or some form of expression. Just something that I can do to bring me closer to the kinds of people that I want to attract. And springtime is really the time of year when I feel like you really feel that. You really feel those connections coming together and this day really showed me that. Earlier, I met up with a friend named Paul. Paul is an artist who's local to Brooklyn like I am, but he actually was born and raised in Jamaica. He and I had the most amazing afternoon. Like, I thought I was just going over to meet with him and talk about who is she and express the vision and idea that I had for that. As you guys know from my last video, and if you don't know, go back and watch it. Who is she, which is an artistic experience that highlights black women, um, got derailed by some unforeseen events last month. It was supposed to happen on the 12th of March, but it's since been moved to the end of May, which is just so beautiful because that also happens to be when my birthday falls. It's springtime, like I said, it's just the energy of just newness and freshness and budding potential. So I'm actually very, very, this is a blessing in disguise that who is she is now gonna happen at the end of May. But it's thanks to Paul because he was so gracious and kind and generous to bring me into his artistic space, which is a studio gallery space. And it is exactly, exactly the energy that I am seeking and that I am trying to cultivate for my own one day. Like I would love to one day be doing what he's doing. And I just know that he has so much to teach me. I have so much to learn. I can already tell we're gonna be great friends. <laughs> we just think the same. We have the same 
frame of mind in regards to the way we feel about certain situations, the way that we express ourselves, the way that we talk about expressing ourselves. It's amazing. I'm so, so, so happy. I spent the afternoon with him and it was just, yeah, a really local day. I kept it really local. And before going to Paul's, I went to Brooklyn Blend. The patties are really good. Always consistent, you guys. Like I got the Prospect Party Power Shake. I also treated myself to a salmon salad because they are just so good from there. And it was just, it was an overall amazing day got to connect with Paul and I honestly thought it was just gonna be like a quick little thing like go here explain the concept and just like you know very I don't know very straightforward but we just got to talking about literally everything under the Sun but you have to pay attention and you have, you to, have to be to open attention. to receiving to from receiving. everywhere exactly yeah. you have to be open to receiving because I think everything is around you Everything just like kind of floats around you and then you have to just see it and grab it. He's so cool. He's so open and like curious and inquisitive and a great listener as well. Like he just, he just gets it. You know, when you just meet people who get it, he just gets it. And I'm so grateful to have met him. I'm just, I feel so blessed at this time. Like I'm starting to see everything come together the way that it should have from the very beginning. Like, everything happens for a reason. And I think who is she is no different. But yeah, today has been a wonderful day so far. I'm just gonna unwind now. I'm really happy to be back home, be back home in my space. I love, 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 love the way that this space is coming together. I've even added a little, a piece of artwork here, um, which is one of my favorites. This is probably something that I will never giveaway or sell or anything like that it just means so much to me but yeah now i am back home just gonna enjoy my tea i might eat a snack i'm always so hungry you guys like i'm always snacking which is why it's so important for me to always have some type of berry or fruit like something healthy around that i can just nibble on because I be eating all day, like all day I can snack on something. And I've got some blueberries in the fridge, so some blueberries with like a little drizzle of honey just sounds so good right now. So refreshing. So with this video here, I'm kind of just trying things out. You know when you just throw it to the wall and see what sticks? That's what we're doing here. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys enjoy just getting a peek at this little day in the life in Brooklyn because today was a really really good day the energy was just so good today and I'm very very grateful for the way that this day has happened this the whole sequence of this day has just been so abundant and so valuable to me and I want to share that energy because it's been so good and so self-loving and so self-healing that's what this is all about you guys that's what this channel is about that's what I try to be about and luckily with that, that's what the people that I am attracting are also about. And you definitely see that in the clips that you're about to see with myself and with Paul. And it was just, it was magic. He's magical. I'm just so happy. Thank you guys so much for watching. And without further ado, let's get into the day. <laughs> I want more after. 
traveling and still, consistently close. solicited for some Always before, always after. No, but especially being an air sign, we're very much, it can, it can get complicated up here, yeah. you know? Yeah. And yeah. sometimes, like what you were saying, bouncing ideas off of somebody else, I think really does help. It's just the encouragement, it's just to feel that somebody else is out there doing, having the same feeling and the same feel as you. Sometimes it's nice to just like sit and talk to somebody who's just like, understand the work just or gets just it. want to talk about the work or yeah. something it's not about you know it's not they're not getting anything we're, get, we're gaining something of course we're gaining if it's not other. material artists needs they need people too you know <laughs> you have to have the right people sometime around you to just make you to push you you know to give you that little push and sometimes things things are in your head and you just need to like work it out and sometimes you need to like just like uh, see somebody in the street and start to talk to them and you get some idea from what something they say or mm -hmm. something the way they look or something on drop on the floor or you, mm -hmm. you know something mm -hmm. but you have to pay attention and you have, you have to, to be open to receiving to from receiving. everywhere exactly yeah. you have to be open to receiving because i think everything is around you everything just like kind of floats around you and mm -hmm. then you have to just see it and grab it mm -hmm. but sometimes you don't see because you're busy looking that way mm -hmm. it, you have to look all the ways you have to look there, the ways. there there <laughs> there there down up and down and straight and then that's when I, that's when you're like oh my god that idea and i saw this little blue thing last week and this red thing and like oh my god it connects together yes. but you have to be open mm -hmm. even things you hate the rubbish garbage Look at everything you mm -hmm. pass in the day. Look at, pay attention to everything. Ideas are everywhere. Yeah. And uh, art, art, I think, is everywhere. Everything is art. This is a stick. It's a, it's a stick. It's a piece of wood. I, I, I had outsiders paint it on the side and I stuck it in my head, and it's a feather. 
It's a wood feather. I love the wood feather. I was looking for a feather and I'm like, I can just make a feather. <laughs> I'm looking for a feather. Yeah. It is like, so Sasha, yes. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I'm filming you. You're filming yes. In Best Dye. In the heart of Best Dye, baby. Stye. Very posh neighborhood, you know, very posh. It's always been yeah. inspirational and just a community, a hodgepodge of art mm -hmm. of you know what i mean of creativity but i think obviously in the most recent years just with like gentrification being as heightened as it is like people are coming in to take ownership of yeah. that feeling and and like they made it when really we made it we're just sharing it it was always here it's just um no i think sometimes we get detached um the community we need to be all together the ideas are here. Best I had some amazing musicians, amazing actors, artists. Everybody's here and um, we just have to um, encourage each other yeah. to do things and, and respect everybody. That the new people and the people that were here before. But we have to look back and then look forward. The neighborhood was the neighborhood and then other people moving in the scene. And the people are like, where the culture gone? But this is what's the culture. Mm -hmm. This is the culture. You came you in. It. Yeah, exactly. You killed it. And then yeah. you, you you know you open like cute places, like, oh my god. To repurpose to the re culture. To repurpose the culture. Yeah. Like, the culture was there. Yeah. It wasn't gone. You you bulldoze it down. But you know what? That's what we're gonna do here, right? That's building that community <laughs> of, yeah. of strong creative people who look like us and think the way that we do and have what we have to offer and then that's Brooklyn there's a lot of this history that people don't realize here you just mm -hmm. walk over it in a day and you don't even realize mm -hmm. you know so <laughs> <laughs> I love it I love it, <laughs> I love it. I love it. I'm glad to do this <laughs> thank you so uh, much for to... being open to yeah. it yeah. I appreciate it so much yeah I want art artists to support other artists we are all part of this thread of life like we're all joined together yeah and then somehow we get we've lost it that's what the power is you know and stop making other people pull us apart with different different things like puppets we're all the same we're all the same we, we keep going up and down we're all the same it's great to have different different people different colors different culture different things right. but we have to all embrace it together so we just have to live and be ourselves yes you know the problem what people don't want to be themselves because they think they're gonna lose their friends they think like if i be me i'm gonna lose all the people around me no. but they were never for you if, if you that's lose the case those people you're gonna find more people mm -hmm. like you. you have to be you and people that you attract the people like you mm -hmm. you walk out like this mm -hmm. people are like oh the people who don't like you are not gonna talk to you it's just fine right. the people who like you are gonna just like run to you it's like, like oh be my god so in I'm like waiting you're for like you. me yeah, <laughs> waiting yeah. For you. those people you don't need all the people yeah they actually will eventually come to you but later when it's too late mm -hmm. you know we don't even think about them the first thing you have to do is be you the main thing is to find yourself yes find you the things that you like and enjoy go home at night you feel good because you whatever you did is good yeah and that's the, the most important thing